All right, welcome back, barbarians, to another Destiny 2 video. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the Vision Sidearm. My thoughts and review upon it. It is a weapon you can currently get this season with no guarantees. You will still be able to get it next season. It's a great weapon. Now, part of the reason I wanted to make a video on this sidearm is in the past, especially Destiny 2's recent past, sidearms have been uh, quite formidable with the three burst. You can see my role here, Killing Wind, Accurize Rounds, and Swashbuckler with a Handling Masterwork. I absolutely love Swashbuckler and Killing Wind, so this is pretty much my god tier perk with both the scope and the second column perk adding to the range, which is ideal. Um, Certainly could have got a range of masterwork here, but I like the snappiness of the handling, so that's my personal preference. Um, another good thing about sidearms, for me in general, especially the three burst ones, they're great for PvE and PvP. Have a ton of functionality within really the entire game. So right here, we're just obviously running a strike. Granted, this has arc burn, so if you see it melt, stay calm. Stay calm. It's, uh... Not crazy. So, uh, I wanted to show the gameplay in the back here, bring up the perks and the uh, curated roll. Uh, Accurize rounds, grave robber, kill clip, sweet. Um, you can see I have a couple of the god tier perks here. Uh, kill clip certainly would be strong. I will be going for that, um, that roll as well. Uh, elemental capacitor, that bottom one in column four, I think could have potential. Um, especially with something like an arc subclass where it really ma I think it adds plus 40 handling. You really do notice that. Um, I have it on a shotgun and I absolutely love it for arc strider. Uh, but this thing has a pretty solid perk pool. Um, even something like one for all, you know, you can see it there on the top of column four, really for PVE. Um, Swashbuckler I've been loving for strikes and for gambit. Um, it kind of runs through all ads uh, without hesitation. And you can get full auto or underdog on column three if that's something you're into. Um, Ambitious Assassin could certainly prove to be beneficial. Something like Disruption Break I think would be uh, helpful. Really the, the perk pool for this weapon is uh, it's small as well. So if you could get the role you wanted is uh, kind of what I'm getting at. And playing this season's uh, activity, you could certainly increase your chances. You can refine your uh, focus, your umbral engrams just to make sure you get it. Uh, as a drop, which is fantastic as well. Alright, so where were we? Um, also, I'm curious what you guys think of sidearms in general, where they're at, PvE or PvP. Um, feel free to drop a comment below. Uh, I'm, I think they're in a strong spot. I don't think they really need adjusting. Um, they certainly get outshined by certain things in the game, but there's so many things in the Destiny universe, it's kind of to be expected. Some things will get outshined, some players will prefer things over others, yada yada yada, so on and so forth. I will say just a quick comparison, something, not necessarily shotguns, but comparing sidearms um, to something like SMGs that are in the game, I feel as though SMGs you can get two to three kills per magazine, maybe four, someone correct me, unless you have Huckleberry. But with a sidearm, I feel like you can just rip through ads and the reload is much quicker. Um, you get a little bit more bang for your buck in terms of DPS. Uh, they feel like they hit a little stronger. That could just be me. Um, which is why I'll usually, you know, 9 times out of 10, choose a sidearm over a submachine gun. Um, and I strongly feel like you should as well for that exact reason. Very versatile, very nimble. Um, same thing with an SMG. You can, I feel like you can hit more shots uh, while airborne with the sidearm. Specifically the triple burst. You know, I think I have Icarus... No, I have a, a minor spec on it now. But if you have Icarus grip on it, you know, for something like PvP. Or if you just prefer it all around, you could certainly be rocking that uh, as you're going. You know, especially as a, you know, warlock or a hunter through the air. Still hitting the majority of your bullets. Still making sure you're landing that DPS while avoiding, you know, the enemy's damage as well. Um, something I truly love here just finishing up the last few enemies um, I think my teammates finally caught up with me in the strike it's actually embarrassing how long it takes people to complete this strike um, but yeah all right so to the meat of the weapon um, let's see different categories I would say 
just speaking sidearms, I'm trying not to compare it to other things, just in terms of the category of sidearms, I would probably rate this sidearm um, a 9 out of 10. Uh, maybe even a little bit higher. But there's not too many sidearms in the game that have that versatility where you can bring it into any activity in the game and just know that it's going to be something you can rely upon. Um, now, I say 9 out of 10, um, part of me is a little bit hesitant. The, the biggest downfall with that 9 out of 10 is the perk pool. I think it could be better. Um, there's certainly good perks in it, but as far as having um, a larger perk pool like some of the other weapons in the game or even a better perk pool to choose from, that that's where this really lacks, the sidearm. Um, kind of disappointing in that category, but it, it's got range. It's got uh, impact. It, the handling, granted I have a handling masterwork, feels fantastic. I can clear three uh, three or four um, you know, red bar enemies easily in PvE, uh, and it's very efficient, as you'll see in some later gameplay in the video, in PvP. Clearing up enemies, finishing them off, um, chasing them down with that extra little tick damage to make sure the enemies can't recharge their shields, etc. So on and so forth, uh, just to ensure you get that kill. Now, that was overall 9 out of 10. Um, I would say in terms of damage output in, in sidearms, I would say 10 out of 10. Uh, this would be my go-to option for PvE. In, in PvP, it's a little bit unique in my opinion. You can get away with choosing some um, some other sidearms. And this is including things that have been sunset as well. You know, if we're excluding that, then I think this is truly um, one of the best legendary sidearms in the game currently. Uh, but granted, it doesn't have much competition. Uh, I'll give you that. But... Um, just what it brings to the table. I also look quite biased. I love future war calls, so anything, any weapon of theirs, if I can get a role that I'm going to enjoy, uh, I'm going to use it. And um, for all of those who have made it this far in the video, uh, I, I think that uh, sidearms, or uh, sidearms, I think the factions will come back eventually. Fingers crossed, I hope. Um, please let me know in the comments if you think they're going to come back. Um, I really, really want them to, just like Destiny 1, if you played it all. It's just a great opportunity for something additional to grind for. And it didn't really have a ceiling. Um, yeah, see those PvP kills, you know, cleaning up a couple enemies. Uh, felt pretty good. See a few clips here of one game I played. Nothing too crazy. Um, you know, Wither Horde kind of for the win. It's kind of easy mode. Um, I know that guy's going to push me. His name says Sweatsicle. I don't think that's the real sweat skull. So don't don't sound off in the comments. Well, let me know. I don't. Uh, yeah, you six to one half dozen. Other. Guy pops hammers. Thought I'd killed him. He actually killed me. Decided to edit it out. No one wants to see that. Um, decided to pop an absolutely skilled super here. Thunder crash. About to take a couple enemies out. Sidearm kills. Bam bam. Um, followed up with some wither horde shots. Nothing too crazy. Um, but yeah, really, almost anything you can pair this with in PvP. Great versatility, feels fantastic. Um, hi highly recommend you try it. And even if you have one, again, keep it in your vault. You never know when Bungie's going to switch around the meta, when you're going to wish you had one. I've done that time and time again, and been thankful I've had something in the vault to use as kind of backup. I'm like, oh hey, this is uh, this is going to be awesome now. This is the last little clip. This guy plays Ring Around the Rosie. Decided to push him. Um, I miss just god tier smash uh, we're about to lose the game well and then I think I whiff my thunder crash here thought I'd put this in the video um, yeah thank you guys so much for watching uh, appreciate the support and I will see you guys in the next video peace